side quest killed many machines and I can say whoa this is the best PlayStation 4 exclusive out there. They really did it. I will tell you why in this review. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Horizon Zero Dawn stars Aloy, an outcast who doesn't know who she is and where she belongs. During the 20 hour main quest you uncover her secrets alongside the mysteries of the world. Because how the heck did the machines take over and what's up with the guys that are raising agent war machines? One of my worries was the story but while playing this fear totally disappeared. It's well written, well presented and got some awesome plot twists that will totally change the way you look at the game. While it may be difficult to understand the many audio logs and play you get to visit to help explain why this amazing world happened. Because come on, this setting is amazing. It's not only unique, I mean, in what other games can you fight these types of cyborg dinos? Yes, we have killed dinos before, but not dinos that look like machines. This means that you really have to focus on other weak points to take them down as well. It's smart to scan every enemy to see their weak points before you engage and focus on that. Is that rocket launcher hitting you hard? Why not destroy it so the machine can't use it anymore? The machines feel alive, they live like real animals, they harvest, they run in packs and always feel like a challenge, even if you've outleveled them. The huge amount of different enemies with their different forms really help with the overall variation in the game. I hate games that keep throwing the same enemies at you and while you might kill many watchers, huge enemies like the Thunderjaw and the Stormbird will only appear once in the whole main mission. You can of course hunt them if you want, see them in the open world, but you are only forced to kill them once. Everything that the game throws at you feels natural and not just a way to keep you busy like many games do, because they simply don't have enough enemies. This is not the case in Horizon Zero Dawn. After completing the game, there were still two machines that I haven't discovered yet. I even didn't complete the whole world map, which shows you that the game is huge and isn't afraid to hold stuff back with the chance that some people might never discover it. This also gives you the sense that this world is alive and that stuff happens because it makes sense in the world. It also shows you that the side quests are really important for this game. There are many green explanation marks on the map. Every time you discover a new settlement, which there are many of in the world, including some awesome urban environments that absolutely look amazing. Anyway, anytime you walk into these villages or cities, a ton of people need your help. And sometimes, well actually most of the times, the side quest doesn't end after you've completed the initial task. The side quests can easily unravel in more deeper stories and will have you travel even further than planned. You will discover new parts of the world through these side activities and even machines that you will simply not encounter if you just follow the main story. Not only XP and a happy face of an NPC, but also completely new content is your reward for finishing these side quests, which of course extremely awesome and gives you enough incentive to go back to these side quests if you finish the game. Apart from side missions, there are also trials. These challenges also improve the playtime by many hours if you wish to complete them all and be warned, they can be very hard. Expect to kill enemies in new and interesting ways and if you do that, you can get big rewards if you indeed are skilled enough to let's say kill the robots by putting down traps instead of using your bow. And trust me, you want these rewards because it's amazing how handy the many skills are that you can unlock. Being able to switch the modifications for example that you got on your bow with your new weapon without them being destroyed. Or being able to throw down enemies with a heavy attack of your spear and then you can follow up with a critical hit. It will really help you during a hunt. The economy also deserves a lot of praise. While in many RPGs the resources you collect can become useless or simply too easy to obtain, in Horizon I really had to think about the items I took with me. Enough wires meant better arrows, no wires meant less damage because I then had to use my other bow with less power but easier to craft ammunition. There's also wildlife in this game that they really gave a great meaning. Killing a boar helps you upgrade your inventory for example and trust me you want that because you can collect many things in Horizon Zero Dawn so you want as deep pockets as possible. The foxes and turkeys also serve for creating fast travel items so you can travel between the campfires in the world. The world is huge 
So yeah, you want to kill the wildlife in order to fast travel. The balance is really great and everything serves a purpose, just like the machines. Yes, I've already praised them, the machines in Horizon Zero Dawn. They are all super different, look amazing, but also serve the progression system in the game. You have to kill certain machines to get new armor and weapons. You got enough money? Well, too bad. You also need a special item from a machine. So that means that, like real hunting, you will have to go out and hunt these machines, bring back their parts and make the armor you want. It's also rewarding and a great way to upgrade yourself because of your skills and not because you played a lot of hours. Yes, this is exactly the case with Monster Hunter as well and the combat also takes a lot from Capcom's RPG. Roll away from incoming attacks, use your bow to destroy parts that you can then harvest. I even used a Monster Hunter tactic in Horizon and it worked. Here a watcher was trying to blind me but I turned my back to him just like I did versus a Kazu in Monster Hunter as well and it worked. The things you learned from Capcom's game really help in Horizon Zero Dawn and that shows you that the gameplay is great. Horizon took a lot of things from other games as well. When you're using your bow and arrow to kill the bandit enemies in the game and climb the many rocks, the game reminds you of the most recent two Tomb Raider games. Where you talk to people and ask them many questions, Bethesda games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout come to mind. It also has the cinematic feel of a linear single player game like Uncharted, but then in a huge open world. It's really impressive what they've done. There are only three load screens in the game. When you start it, when you die and when you fast travel. Besides that, everything is seamless, which makes this world even more believable. One of the things that Horizon does best is not take you out of the experience. It's an open world RPG, so sometimes an NPC can get stuck or sometimes something unusual happens, but it's nothing game breaking or that really gives you the idea that you're playing a game. There are no times in Horizon Zero Dawn where you walk to a point in the map that you aren't supposed to be in and then the game asks you to go back. You are free to do whatever you want and that really helps with the overall enjoyment. The fun of the action and the super fluid combat, the variation in quests and enemies, it all makes this game extremely fun. It makes you not want to put down the controller and simply keep on playing. While writing this review, I wanted to go back to the world, walk beside the many machines that I've discovered or do new side quests to learn even more and discover even more things that I haven't seen yet. Yes, I'm super positive about this game. I hear you ask, are there any things that you don't like or could be better? Well, yes, of course. No game is perfect and while Horizon does many, many things right that we don't see in other games, mainly the variation, there are some critiques I have. For example, the gear is way too limited in my opinion. Halfway through the game, I already had the best armor and weapon that I wore until the final mission. I wanted new exclusive upgrades, but even every fender I visited had the same stuff and nothing that was better than something I got on level 15. That kinda sucks. Sometimes the game can also have some weird design choices, like environments that will instantly kill you without really communicating that. I also felt that the storyline about uncovering the secrets of the world was a little bit too much, especially if you did all the quests one after the other. It's an information overload with three audio dialogues in one room that you simply can't listen to all at the same time, and even while you're listening to them, Aloy will still talk when you trigger a new event, resulting in the chaos through your speaker. I was really surprised by the voice acting and facial animations though. Okay, they're not like the, the best, you can't compare them with Uncharted, but they are good enough in my opinion and have no impact on the game's presentation at all. Like I said, the machines really feel alive and a threat, but the bandit AI could be something they could take a look at for the new game. When they are aggressive and they attack you, it's fine, but in stealth mode they are super stupid, with enemies being killed next to them and they still don't see it. Still though, it's fun to kill a whole bandit camp one by one with just putting an arrow through their head. So yeah, it's really stuff that could easily be fixed and will not have an impact on your overall amazing experience with the game. You can forgive the little flaws because Horizon Zero Dawn does many many things right, like I already said. I almost forgot one thing, something I was actually super surprised by, and that is the fact that Aloy, the character that you play as, is super likable. She tells what's on her mind and that totally fell in line with the things that I thought during that situation. You will really feel for her and will love to go on an adventure with this beautiful but fierce hunter that can totally defend herself. While Aloy is undoubtedly the star of this game, the many side characters also didn't fail to impress. You will meet many of them throughout the game and will be happy to see them pop up 
time and time again. Don't expect an Uncharted quality cast though, but it's also not Rise of the Tomb Raider or Tomb Raider, where the characters are simply uninterested and unremarkable at all. It's also up to you and your curiosity to get to know the characters better. Like many RPGs, Aloy can ask more detailed questions about what happened, and I was always interested enough to ask them. Man, I even forgot to talk about the dungeons called cauldrons in this game. They are optional, I really thought they were going for the Zelda approach here, but no. This is also another way to enhance your experience if you want to, but you don't have to. If you clear these tight spaces where you can't run away from the enemies, so you really have to kill them head on, again, a lot of variation in this game, they then you can override a new set of machines. That means riding them or letting them fight alongside you. If you don't want that, no problem. But yeah, it could really help you later in the game. Let's end this review with something obvious, the graphics. This is the best looking PS4 game, which is even more impressive because it's an open world title and mostly those titles pay for that in terms of graphics quality. Well, in Horizon this is not the case. The detail in the machines, the many many different places and areas you will visit, it's just mind blowing. Even when you finish the game, you still sometimes look around and think, whoa, it's truly amazing what the Guerrilla Games have done. I played a little bit on the PS4, but most of my time on the PS4 Pro, the footage that you see from my PlayStation is from the PS4 Pro version. Both versions though look and run amazing. This is truly an achievement. And also the fact that this is a first person shooter studio that is now also capable of making an interesting and super fun open world RPG that everyone has to play. This beats my favorite game of 2016 and also my favorite PS4 exclusive Uncharted 4 simply because of the unique setting, way better and interesting intense gameplay and also because it blends it all so together so well. Everyone should play Horizon Zero Dawn even if you don't like open world games because it really feels like a third person action game most of the time too. Horizon Zero Dawn is something special, a game I can't recommend enough and something that will come up when we discuss the many amazing titles this generation had to offer. Sony really has something great here, I can't wait to see what they will do next in the inevitable sequel. If you have any questions about Horizon Zero Dawn, about this review, let me know in the comments down below, I will try to answer them all. I might do even a Q&A video as well if there are a lot of the same questions or stuff that I just want to go a little bit more in depth to. This review is just the beginning of my Horizon Zero Dawn content, well not actually the beginning, I already have a ton of content up.